Hello and welcome everyone. This is As Group and I am Shambo and today I will show you how to play Pokemon X with ease in PC. I know some of you might be wondering why I am giving this video once again because my previous video got a copyright claim and one of my friend deleted it. Ah, I have to make it all back again. So the f <laughs> let's get started. The first step. Download Citra Bleeding Edge version. Search Citra in Google, and then you can then find the download links. For the link for the download page of the Citra. Once you head to the download page of the Citra, that is the link you can see over here. Uh, this is the link. The link will be given in the, in the description. So here it is. You need to get into the Bleeding Edge build. Okay, the Bleeding a bleeding edge build download the bleeding edge build and you will be able to play pokemon x not now i know you will saying what the hmm. but that's nothing you have to follow a few important steps first okay oh i I just got this new bleeding edge downloaded now i will show you with it how to Play Pokemon X. First part. Okay, first part was downloading. The second step, you need to head on to get that da downloaded file. It will be named Citra Setup. Here it is. Just double click and it will be installed automatically. Okay, it's installing now. No administrative rights are needed. Let's wait. Okay, Citra is installed. It will start up, I guess. Okay, okay, uh, 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 a few problems because the lag. I'm recording, okay? Okay, okay, this Citra's up. I'm going to close it for now, okay? Because now it will not work. The next thing that you got to download is the Citra Crow Build or the Citra Poke Emulator from iMagic Art Studios. This link will also be given. This link is also given in the description. I Magic Art Studios. You need to go down and check this. It check this out. You have to download C Truck Build from here and Pokemon X Decrypted ROM from here. Encrypted ROMs don't work. How to identify encrypted ROMs? They're over the size of two GBs and they will not work in Poke Citra. Okay, well, it is named Citra Crowbuilt over here. This is not actually Citra Crowbuilt. It's later on named, you know, what was that name? Citra Poke Emulator. So now, now to download this, you need one single thing. Okay, one Google account because these both of these links are Google Drive links. Okay. So this page's link will be the the link for for this page will be given in the description. Don't worry, you don't have to write it by watching the video. So after you download C Truck Row Build and Pokemon Next Room, you're almost good to go. So the next thing is you need to open up the C Truck Row Build fol uh, folder or ah uh, props. Okay. You need to open up the C Truck Robilt folder. That's usually named C Truck Poke Emulator. As you can see, this thing over here. So this will also not make your Pokemon X work. You're once again going what the. So here it is. The thing that you need actually is this. The user folder. You need to right click on it and choose copy. After you copy it, you might think. Where should I paste it? You should paste it in the Citra folder. But where will I get the Citra folder, man? Here it is. Here's the Citra icon. You need to right click on it. Go to properties. You need to open the file location. Okay. And you need to open up this app 0 0.1 point and whatever the version of yours. This is the latest version for now. 277 I'm going to open it up there's no user folder inside it without the user folder Citra won't be able to run Pokemon X you need to paste this user folder over here okay everything paste up errors occurred that's nothing let's cancel it I need to delete my save data so that I can start it from beginning 
सो एस टी एम से आई विल डिलीट दिस सेव डेटा ओके आई एम गुड टू गो सो यू नीड टू स्टार्ट अप okay so next step start c trade you start oh it's looking a bit different you need to choose file load file and then go on to for your games as already i have this folder chosen as my 3 years game so i already them listed over here so pokemon x before i run pokemon x i need to configure a few things first of all system my name is not this i missed a uh, a cool enough i'm gonna give him my birthday wish me okay and system language will change to english okay input i'm gonna change them because i don't like this input Remember one thing there are two types of controls that you need this is directional pad and the circle pad directional pad will be necessary for playing Pokemon X and the circle pad is necessary for playing Pokemon Sun Pokemon Sun doesn't work with the directional pad okay you need circle pad emulation for that I'm gonna change these things okay uh graphics i'm gonna change it from native to nothing i'm gonna change its default auto okay auto is cool enough you know? so let's start playing pokemon x don't mind the lag it will play it will play smoothly in your computer there's a there might be a bit of lag over here because you know it's recording Let's begin the game. I don't know the new version of C -trip. I've not used it. This is the first time using it. Maybe some kind of prowse prowse might be there. The older version of C -trip used to show that four lights crisscrossing and making an X, which is not shown in the new C -trip. As you saw, there was no crisscrossing. Direct the X. I'm going to skip all this by pressing the start button. So here the game begins. That's the Pokeball. I know Poke fans should have seen Pokemon X gameplay out there in Citra. Oh, a bit new sounds it seems. The new version have got a bit more sound of emulation. emulation. No, still not. Except the SFX. So there's not much of a lag. You see? Isn't this great? Okay, so I'm gonna stop it over here. There are a few other things that causes... There are a few bugs in the game, okay? You know... The one bug will not let you enter the Pokemon world as soon as it says enter the Pokemon world oh my goodness a graphical glitch whenever he says enter the Pokemon world the game froze freezes and will not let you enter, po enter the Pokemon world for powerful computers it might work okay it might work in powerful computers but not Computers with 3.4 gigahertz processors. Okay, so I'm gonna stop it over here, and I will show you a few more things before heading on. Okay, so you need to download a few more files in case that bugs coming up on you. That is this a poke the Pokemon save file, along with the link will be given into the description. Okay, in case you have problems finding where to save.
Where to place the save file? You can download this document for Pokemon X save location help by as group so that and it will help you find the location. Okay, remember just follow the steps given inside the document in case you don't have an office in your computer so that I mean Microsoft Office you can simply upload this file into Google Drive and open it using Google Docs online okay that that's going to be fine so now I already have this save file so I'm going to copy it down so where is it I got the save file totally extracted I need this folder okay I'm going to copy this thing and head on to the app folder user uh, stnc okay title I will paste it right over here and overwrite the things things overwritten okay I'm going to restart the C trial and so that no problem arise C trial security now you will see the actual gameplay okay let Pokemon X start by the way, if you have made this far into the video, please leave a like and please subscribe to our channel for more videos on emulation and all. Because we're the best, we're going to be the best gaming and trolling and entertainment group in the whoa. New features. I see this. Not seeing this, and new features. Okay, so the frame rate's not that all, not that good exactly. 10 FPS ain't that great. Let's press start. Let's continue, cause that's a pre-made. Okay, okay, FPS is rising. Let's start the game. There might be a bit of lag over here because yeah. I need to go downstairs, okay? Coming back in a Hey guys, I'm back. So let's get moving. So this lag is caused just because of the recording. Or else there's not not even this much of a lag. The game FPS range is great ahead at 60 FPS. I've experienced 60 FPS. Okay, the recording is lagging because Citra is based on CPU power and loads of CPU is being eaten away by the recording. Okay, hey Citra, this way over here. What? Let's get ourselves moving. So, this is it. So now you know how to play this, okay? Voila! Ain't this thing good? Ha, <laughs> you're saving loads of money. Let's tap it right over here. And this will go away soon, okay? It's gone. I would like to introduce a few more things first of all if you want to play Pokemon Sun my friend has already created that walkthrough you know the procedure how to play Pokemon Sun the video link will appear in the video itself a bit later on maybe and we are as group is very proud to announce our very own website so Let's move on to our website. The link for this website will be given in our, you know, description. Let's check out the website. And please check our website. Okay. This is according to us good. We're kids, okay. <laughs> and absolutely, absolutely love Wix. Wix.com. We created this website using Wix.com. Okay, so the, the blog that's here, the first in the list over here, 22nd April, you can use it to get information about us, information about the ass group. Okay, so this is our website. Isn't the website cool enough? We already got video blogs, 
and I was talking about this thing as you can see can see try and Pokemon Sun my friend has already covered this topic <laughs> okay the end is a uh, side cool enough We got plenty of Azure videos over here. Okay, this is a UD video. Head on to the U. We will provide the link of this. Uh, okay, so we're counting 1, 2, 5, 6 views on our website, and that's pretty great. Oh my goodness. Tell your friends and family, propagate this, and thank you. Please like and subscribe subscribe to our channel you, you might uh, get the video link over here and the subscription link over here thank you